Hi, Ian Moyes, and I wanted to talk to you about marginal gains and particularly how to leverage them in sales to your advantage. Everyone wants to grow sales results and get a greater outcome, but typically the focus is on just sell more, just win more customers, as opposed to taking a look more holistically at the contributing factors. So when I join a business, I always look at um, assimilate what's there first, and then look at how am I going to move the lever? How am I going to move sales in the right direction? And typically, it's been successful by looking at a number of metrics and getting marginal gains in a combination of them. And thus, they compound to a far greater outcome. So, for example, you look at average sales value. You look at the win ratio. You look at your clothing, the upsell, the cross-sell. Um, you look at the, um, the close ratio against competition. So if you think about it, margin, deal size, close ratio, win rate, uh, clothing rate. If you look at all of those, they're all fundamental sales metrics. But I don't look at suddenly moving one of them a massive amount. The salespeople don't buy into that. But if you talk to them about if your average sales value today, let, let's pick an example, is, is £5,000 or dollars. Don't suddenly think we're going to, well, guys, girls, we're going to get that to 20,000 in a month. Unless you've had some epiphany of a fundamental flaw in the business. So what you typically look at is if our average over the past years has been 5,000, look at the reasons and set a target for over the next 12 months, we're going to move that average dial to and pick a number that's achievable. It might be 7,000. It might be 9,000, depending on the, the baseline you're starting from and what you believe you've assimilated to be um, achievable. But something that the team feels is achievable and that by a little bit of focus, we can get there. And that could be by focusing on a different sector, a different type of customer, categorizing your customers. And maybe you've just been taking and dealing with what you fall into, maybe targeting a certain type of customer. Um, what about the win ratio? What's your win ratio today? If it's one out of one, then difficult to improve, but highly unlikely that that's what you're dealing with. Often I see people saying, well, we win one in four, we win one in six, depending on what stage of the sales cycle you're taking that metric from. Well, if you're winning one in four today, can you move it to one in three over a year's period? Because if you move the average deal value up from five to seven, and you win one in three rather than one in four, even with the same number of leads created that you're having today, you're in a better position. How do we increase the lead ratio? If we're getting 15 inbound leads a month today, how do we get that to 25 in 12 months time? Pick numbers that are achievable to get to that the team will believe in that feel like a marginal gain, but that you can do a little bit at a time. Start now, start putting uh, uh, methodologies and approaches in place that start to move more focus of the team towards moving that dial a little bit up over the 12 months. And invariably what I've seen is a couple of things. One is at the end of the year, you may not have met, met all of the metrics growth you, you, you targeted to achieve, but some of the ones you targeted, perhaps five to 7,000 average deal value, you're now doing 8,000 average deal value. Some of them you achieved more than you expected, and that the compounding effect of achieving multiple of those marginal gains really does have a positive impact on the team. And guess what? At the end of 12 months, look, this is where we aim to get to. This is where we got to, some above, some below. But overall, look at the impact it's had. So for the next 12 months, these are the gains we're going to try and do and continue to move the dial. Now, you can set those annually, quarterly, of course, but I like to set them a, a reasonable period out and a number that the business would feel if we could achieve that would be fantastic. And then focus on all of those step by step coaching, mentoring, deal by deal. How do we move towards that goal that we're all working towards as a, as a consistent aim of the team? Hope that helps. But marginal gains are one step at a time. They're not a big uh, thing that a mountain to climb that the team doesn't believe in. And more often than not, by setting the, 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 the outcome target that way, you achieve them. Good luck. And I look forward to hearing your results.